All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna go ahead and check out this house behind me. We're back at Lakeside Village with Weaver Homes. We're gonna check out this Capri. It's a three bed, three full bath. You gotta see this view. Let's go on and take a look. All right, guys, we're walking in. This is the spec home and this one is ready to go. You can actually purchase this. It is ready for move in. You got a two car garage out front. You got a little bit of the brick on the bottom and you got siding up the, up the top here. The top half, you can see, it is a lot bigger than what it seems to be. So when we go inside, you're gonna be a little bit uh, surprised, I think, with the uh, the size of the bedrooms, the size of the primary, and the basement has so much room in there. All right, guys, let's go in and take a look. We have this little entryway right here up on your concrete uh, sidewalk, and we're gonna walk right in. I'm gonna take my shoes off, and you can check out the hardwood floors that they have down. Absolutely gorgeous entryway right here, about a nine foot ceiling. Got a little, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see the, the doorway. Got a transom window up top. Nice little light fixture right here. And immediately when you walk in, we're gonna to get to that view here in a minute, but immediately as you walk in, you can see it's an open concept straight ahead, but we'll make a left and you have a little closet right here throw your coats as your guests or yourself walk in through here. So you can enter through through the garage or you can enter through this doorway, the front door. You have a first full bath right here with a bathtub and shower combo, surround, nice beautiful black fixtures. Like I said, this home is brand new, 2,474 square feet. It has a finished, well, a half finished basement I really like that color. Very cool, and they went with the black fixtures, uh, black handles, everything, black faucet. And then up front here, towards the front of the room, or front of the house, look at the sun coming in. So that's gonna be your west facing wall right there. Uh, this is your first bedroom, and it is very large, very spacious. So there's two bedrooms here on the first floor. And these are, Eight, nine, this might be almost 10 foot ceilings. It's like a nine and a half, uh, huge closets. So you're gonna have your primary on the first floor and you're gonna have a, another, this bedroom right here on the first floor. Carpeted in the bedroom. As you can see, I like the deep gray, but yeah, this one's ready. You can actually buy this one right now in the low sixes. So that's gotta be a, well, that's about a queen size bed. So you can see that. All right, let's head back out into the entryway and then we'll go straight into your living area. Very open concept. Got an electric fireplace right there with a little bit of a switch right here to just turn it on and off. Turn your fireplace right on so you can enjoy at least the uh, atmosphere of having a fire. You have your dining area and just another seating area right there. So just an absolute gorgeous open concept. And they went with a 10 foot ceiling here in the living room, the living area, like a, almost like a tray ceiling. They jumped it up another foot or so. So let's go downstairs. Let's check out the basement before we get to that kitchen and you gotta see the view off the back deck. This is Lakeside Village, so you're gonna wanna see that view. So let's head back downstairs here. And the downstairs is gonna be half finished and it's gonna have a uh, full bed and bath down here. And you still have nine foot ceilings in the basement. Beautiful area to set up another maybe man cave, woman cave, whatever. Uh, a little bit of a sports going on down here. You know what I mean? Set up a little bar maybe there in the corner. Another living room. So let's go show you the storage area behind this door. So it's half finished and half storage and there is space here for everything you got. You can just see the absolute amount of space here is pretty impressive. This house does not look that big from the front. So once you get in it, you can really start to see where the 2,474 square feet come into play. There's your water tank, your furnace. 
can see that even in the storage area, you have nine foot ceilings. Big, large beam going down the middle. Steel beam, very well constructed. Back into what could be whatever you want area, probably another living room. And you do have a back patio right here that you can walk out. So very nice, it has a separate man door for the back patio area. And it's a concrete patio. More seating area right there. And then we're gonna have our second full bath of the house right here in the basement. Well, about a three quarter bath, I guess, cause it's just a shower. Beautiful glass door. I love that they kept the, the black fixtures, the black finishes. A couple bench sheets inside the shower on a sliding glass door. I like the dark gray tile they used as well. And they had the same color finished uh, cabinet as they did in the first bathroom up upstairs. I really like this tile. It's like a brown, yellowish, dark gray. So see the second bedroom of the home. Another sizable bedroom for sure. A large window facing the east, down over the lake, and a really nice walk-in closet. And this is gonna be one, two, three, four, this is about 10 by five closet here. little sneak peek as you can see lakeside village and down there is going to be your lake so you do have a view from this bedroom so let's head back upstairs and we can see the two-car garage a beautiful gourmet kitchen and as you remember in the pontico plus we showed the kitchen i absolutely loved uh, the kitchen that they did, they did the white appliances in the portico. I have that video, I can share a link to that one. Right back up into your living area, and let's make a left. It'll be the front door there. So that's the door we just came up. We'll go through the kitchen, come back to that. Don't look yet. And we're gonna go into the laundry room with a ceramic Appear to be ceramic uh, tile. Got your laundry tub. This would be a laundry slash mud room. So you got double doors right here. Hang all your items. Hang your coats. Put away some uh, some things there. Maybe some brooms. And you could get one of those large uh, benches in here for sure that you could sit on and make this a really, really nice mud room coming off of your garage, your two car garage, which is right behind this door. So here's your two car garage. And it does have a hose bib over there on the side. Very sizable here. It's gotta be about 12 foot ceilings inside your garage. So as you walk in from your two-car garage right into your laundry room, you can see the space. Lots and lots of room for a uh, bench seat right here that you can hang your, uh, hang your items, put away your boots, your, your shoes. And you are really close to your kitchen, obviously, so you're not very far to carry all your groceries. So you walk into the kitchen, and there's gonna be a double door right here for your pantry on the left. So a good amount of space inside here. And then they did still, they really uh, kept it very uniform, consistent with the cabinetry. It's the same cabinet color as they used in the, uh, in the bathroom as well. Really nice size island. You got three seats right here. It's like almost an eight foot island. Nice deep single bowl sink, under counter mounted sink, stainless steel appliances, 
This one is ready to go for you guys. Nice pendant lights hanging. Got two pendant lights. GE appliances. And this one, you got your GE fridge, dishwasher. Inside the, uh, the island. Here's a look at your sink. And here's a look from your kitchen while you can entertain and still be right here with everybody while you're working in the kitchen. So if you like open concept, this is a perfect one for you. So you got uh, the cabinets that go almost to the ceiling. Lots of cabinet space right here. And then your base cabinets. You got your stainless steel range hood. like a five burner. Five burner cast iron grills on top. Your GE stove. Really nice. I like the uh, granite, granite countertop here. And you got the uh, Subway tile style backsplash, matching the cabinets. You got the double ovens. All right, let's head into the primary. Actually, before we even get into the primary, you gotta check out this view. You got Trex deck out here, sliding glass doors, and you step out, just picture yourself set up right here, having your morning coffee. This is the east facing side of the home, the back side of the home. And now granted, it looks a little messy right here right now, but they're cleaning this up. This is a new development. So your lake down there and you got your clubhouse with pool right across the lake. So you're gonna be able to kayak and be able to fish and enjoy the lake down there. They're gonna have that all cleaned up for you guys. But just imagine sitting here at night or in the morning and having your coffee. A great view. Nobody is gonna be obstructing your view behind you because you're on the side of a hill. Nice big windows. And they went with the black accent around the window or black frames. Really love that view. And step right inside to the primary. You got two large windows going overlooking the the lake that's going to be absolutely gorgeous when they finish everything here and this is a pretty sizable room itself looks like they got about a queen size bed in here right now and this is just you know tons and tons of room you could get another another cabinet in here another dresser of your primary you're going to have straight ahead you'll have your linen closet at the end for your towels and whatnot off to the left is a really nice walk-in closet that you could possibly reconfigure maybe the, uh, the closet a little bit it looks like it's about 10 by 8 or so just hit my head on a rail or the uh, <laughs> on the shelf behind me but you still have the nine foot ceilings even in the closet and in the primary bathroom right here. And walk right into the actual sink, double bowl sink. Looks like a quartz countertop possibly. His and her sinks. Ceramic tile floor. And shower. Again, staying consistent with the black finishes. You have your niche underneath your shower, two niches underneath your shower fixtures. Even the grate they left black, awesome choice. And it's gonna be a pocket door here. Pocket door for the water closet. 
And inside your water closet, you have a little window. Top. And another closet. So another linen closet right there inside the water closet. So if you guys are looking to buy, sell, invest, relocate to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, send me a DM. Let's uh, let's get uh, let's get on the phone, set up a Zoom call, maybe see how we can help you make that move nice and smooth. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I want to thank Sue Watson with Weaver Homes for allowing me to come in here and show you guys and sharing this beautiful Capri model with you guys. Uh, not model, actually, this is a spec home. So like I said, this one is for sale, ready to go right now. Um, a beautiful lakeside village, great amenities. It's going to be a wonderful community. Until next time, guys, I appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, share. Most importantly, make a comment. All right, guys, until next time, keep it real estate.